Hello YouTube viewers, this is Collector513 again with another video of my collection. I was asked and requested to do an updated video of my horror collection. I have gotten a lot of new horror games, a lot of them. Um, I love horror. Horror is my second favorite genre next to fighting. That's why it's second biggest. So, uh, let's get started. Okay, first of all, before we get started, these are in alphabetical order. And I have them in uh, groups of consoles. For example, all the Nintendo horror games are together. All the Microsoft Xbox horror games are together. All the PlayStation from PS1, PS2, PS3, 4, 5, PSP, PS Vita. Those horror games are together. All the Sega horror games are together. Alright. I, and I have them in chronological order as well, starting from the earliest console of that brand. First horror game I've ever, ever received in my life was Friday the 13th. This game was harder than crap. I could not be that. That's the only horror game I have on Nintendo. This is the only horror game I have on the N64, which is Resident Evil 2. Now, let's go to GameCube. Eternal Darkness. Luigi's Mansion. Resident Evil Zero. Resident Evil Remake. I think this is honestly, in my opinion, the best remake they've ever done. The original Resident Evil Two. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Resident Evil Code Veronica X. And the last GameCube game will be Resident Evil 4. The original. Okay. And now moving on to the Wii games. The Wii Horror games. Dead Rising. Chop till you drop. A lot of people did not know that that you know there was a Dead Rising for the Wii. That's what it looks like. I show, you know, gameplay on the back of the boxes for games like this. I feel what people may not know about. And they may want to see what it looks like. Dead Space Extraction. Yeah, so there was a Dead Space on the Wii as well. We'll show the back of this. It was a uh, yeah. It was a cool game. Juwan, The Grudge. On a house simulator. Obscure the aftermath. Resident Evil Archives. Resident Evil Zero. Resident Evil Archives. Resident Evil. I think I'm pretty sure this is the GameCube port. Resident Evil 
Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. I loved this version of Resident Evil 4. That's what it looks like on the Wii. The Wii mode is definitely a huge factor in this game. I love that. I love that about this game on the Wii. It's amazing. Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles. Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles. This is the last Nintendo Wii horror game. Silent Hill Shattered Memories. This was released on PS2, PSP as well. Resident Evil Revelations. I'm sorry, these are the Wii U horror games. I don't have many on the Wii U. I only have these two. Just Resident Evil and Zombie U. Zombie U is pretty fun. Very realistic. Okay. The last Nintendo Resident Evil Revelations collections. A lot of people did not know that this was a release on the Switch. But uh there's or there are the two Resident Evil games that are on it. Resident Evil Triple Pack. This has Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6. And the last Nintendo Switch horror game, Resident Evil Origins Collection. Resident Evil 0 and Resident Evil 1. Alright, now we'll show you all my handheld Nintendo games and that will be done with Nintendo. Resident Evil Gaiden for Game Boy Color. And that's all for Game Boy Color. Now let's move on to Nintendo DS. I only have one horror game on Nintendo DS, which is Resident Evil Deadly Silence. A lot of some people don't know about it, but that's what it looks like on the Nintendo DS. Okay, and that's all for DS, and now let's move on to the 3DS. Resident Evil 3D Mercenaries. Resident Evil Revelations. And I do have the misprint case. And last horror game for the 3DS, Spirit Camera. I heard that this ties in with Fatal Frame. That's what I heard. It's a pretty cool game. Alright, time for the Microsoft uh, Xbox, Xbox 360, and Xbox One horror games. Time for Microsoft. Starting with Doom 3. These are the original Xbox horror games. Fatal Frame. Fatal Frame 2. Crimson Butterfly Director's Cut. Silent Hill 2. And this one. Has this one. Right? For those who want to know. 
And last Xbox original horror game, Silent Hill 4 The Room. Okay, let's move on to Xbox 360. This is a horror game. I researched it. Three different sources. And they all said it was horror. Bioshock. A lot of people may question. Bioshock 2. Bioshock 3 is not a considered a horror game. I don't know why. But, yeah. Condemned. Criminal Origins. Gundam 2 Bloodshot. Dead Rising. Dead Space. Dead Space 2. Left for Dead. Left for Dead 2. This is a downloadable only game, Resident Evil Zero. Another downloadable game, Resident Evil HD Remaster. Only released in Japan. This is a custom made case. Resident Evil Revival Selection. Got a little tongue to us. It Revival Selection. Yeah, I don't like anything that says Biohazard because I am a strict USA collector. So I do not buy PAL cases. I don't buy them. I prefer for everything to look American. Sorry, I'm not, you know, races or anything, or, you know, it's just how I collect. It's just how I collect. Every collector is different. Resident Evil 5. Yeah, every collector is very different. Some don't mind uh, Powell video games in their collection if they have an American collection. Resident Evil Gold. Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition. I think that's and what's not. Thought it was. Resident Evil 6. Resident Evil 6 archives. In the archives, it includes Resident Evil Veronica X, uh, XHD. Resident Evil 4 HD, Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition, Resident Evil 6, and Resident Evil Degeneration Movie. That's what up. Let's show you what the back looks like. That's what everything looks like. And this is sealed. Brand new. That's everything. Everything that comes with it. And that's it. The G D generation films rated R, by the way, for you know whoever cares about that. And the last Xbox 360 horror game, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Now I have one horror game for Xbox 360 Connect, and that is Rise of Nightmares. 
It's a really, really, really fun game. <laughs> oh my god, it was so much fun with the Kinect. Okay, now I have a, f a couple of, um, a few Xbox One War Games, and these are Xbox One. Dead Rising 4. Or Dead Rising 3. My apologies. Can't read. Uh, Dead Rising 4. That's because I was looking at this case while I was reading, or while I had out Dead Rising 3 in front of me. That's why I said that. Resident Evil Origins Collection. And those are the only three Xbox One War games I have. Now, let's move on to Sega. From Sega Genesis to Dreamcast. Sega Saturn. Those horror games. I have one horror game on Sega Genesis, and that is Alien 3. I have one horror game on Sega Saturn that is Resident Evil. And this does have everything. It is CIB. Complete in box. I take very good care of this because I know it is an inexpensive piece of, of wow, it's expensive. Now the Dreamcast. Oh, horror games. Blue Singer. Dino Crisis. Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis Resident Evil Code Veronica And last but not least for Dreamcast and Sega The House of the Dead 2 Now Let's move on to the very, very last company and the biggest, the biggest of the horror games I have. Wow. PlayStation. I'm going to put on my gloves because I don't really want to touch and fingerprint my PlayStation 1 cases as those are restored beautifully. So I'm going to put on gloves. I'm only wearing gloves for the PS1 titles because of the cases. Alright, starting with Crypt Killer. Dino Crisis. Dino Crisis 2. Fear Effect, and that is considered a horror game. If anyone is in question about some of these games, I did extensive research on about several different sites and resources to figure out if these are horror or not. Fear Effect 2, Retro Helix, or Helix, or however you want to say that. Nightmare Creatures 2, or excuse me, Nightmare Creatures. I <laughs> uh, wish I had two. I do not have two. I uh, wish I had two. It'd be nice. Her Parasite Eve. Parasite Eve 2. Resident Evil. Mm -hmm. 
Resident Evil Director's Cut. And this has the Resident Evil 2 demo. Resident Evil Director's Cut Dual Shock. Now it supports the Dual Shock and the Watch Controller. Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Resident Evil Survivor. And last horror game for the Sony PlayStation. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Silent Hill 2. Or Silent Hill 1. I have to get this. I have to fix this. Not on camera. I will fix that, though. That case. Oh, wow. All right. Let's move on to PS2. Blood Rain. I used to have a crush on her. <laughs> I used to. Blood Rain 2. Clock Tower 3. Cold Fear. Constantine. Dark Watch. Fatal Frame. Based on the true story. Really. Fatal Frame 2. Crimson Butterfly. Fatal Frame 3. They're Tormented. This one was a, was a bit pricey. Echo Night Beyond. I hated this game. I'm sorry. I wasn't a fan of it. Ghost Hunter. Hunting Ground. I bought this for like 30 some bucks. Back in the day, from Game Crazy, and uh, nowadays, man, this thing is, whew, it's expensive. But I've I've had it, you know, for some time. I got everything uh, with it, <laughs> everything. I literally bought this game, normal price, when it came, you know, when it was out, and now it's expensive. I'm glad I kept it. Hunter of the Reckoning Wayward. Manhunt 2. I do need one. Primal. This was a fun game. Resident Evil Cold Veronica X. Resident Evil Outbreak. Resident Evil Outbreak File 2.
Resident Evil Dead Aim. Resident Evil 4. I forgot to show this earlier. I apologize. This is a horror game. On Emotia Warlords. It's a, actually a survival horror game with swords. Because he's fighting demons. <laughs> I mean, duh. <laughs> That's horrific. Nobody wants to see what he's fighting. I sure don't want to see a demon come out of a portal. I don't have a sword to fight it. <laughs> Silent Hill 2. I do have all of the Onimusha games. All of them. But they're saying Onimusha 2, 3 are not horror games. They only consider... Onimusha won a horror game. Silent Hill 3. This got really washed. I have to rebuy the whole case. Silent Hill 4 The Room. Silent Hill Origins. This was also released on the PSP. Silent Hill Shatter Memories. I do have the Wii version. All I need is the PSP version. And I will have all of these. Siren. I was so mad that Siren 2 was only released in Japan. As I said, I don't buy power games. The Thing. This was a really good movie. I enjoyed the, the original and the remake. I like both of them. And last PS2 horror game, Men Helsling. Now, let's move on to PS3. Alone in the Dark. Inferno. This is the only Alone in the Dark game I have. I'm not a fan of Alone in the Dark, as you can clearly see. <laughs> There's a lot of them out. I don't have them. Clive Jericho or Clive Bar Barker's uh, Jericho. So, so this was a fun game. I like this. Dead Island. Dead Island Riptide Special Edition. Dead Rising 2. Dead Rising 2 off the record. Fear. First Encounter Assault Reckon. I do need the other ones. Ghostbusters, the video game. I do love these films. A Lollipop Chainsaw. They did a reboot or a remaster or something. I don't know. A remake? Uh, something on the new, the newer consoles. I want to get it. I love Lollipop Chainsaw. This was a digital only um, game for the PS3. Resident Evil Zero. Another digital only game for PS3. Resident Evil HD Remaster. Resident Evil 5. Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition. This has a slip cover and everything to it. Resident Evil 6. Resident Evil 
Resident Evil 6 Anthology. This includes Resident Evil Director's Cut, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, Resident Evil 4 HD, Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition, and Resident Evil 6. I will show you the back, what comes with it. There we go. That's everything. Resident Evil Revelations. This is still sealed. I still have to play it. Resident Evil 2. Uh, Revelations 2. This was pricey. For some reason, it was really, really hard to find Resident Evil 2. Revelations 2. Sorry, I keep using that RE2. It's hard to find it for PS3. Resident Evil Operations Raccoon City. Another digital game on the PS3. Resident Evil Chronicles HE Collection. If you're wondering what this has on it, here we go. This is basically the two games that were released on the Wii. Here we go. Another uh, digital game, Revival Selection, Resident Evil Revival Selection, and this is what comes with that, RE4 and Code Veronica X. Okay. Saw. I love all of these movies. Saw is amazing. Saw 2. Flash and Blood. Sound Like Hill HD Collection. It contains Sound Like Hill 2 and 3. I would have thought this would go really expensive since it has Silent Hill 2 and 3 on it. I thought it would have been, you know, pricey. Silent Hill Homecoming. Silent Hill Downpour. The Darkness. I do need The Darkness too. And yes, this is a horror game. Uh, I looked it up. The Last of Us. Yeah, everything calls it a horror game. The Walking Dead. The complete first season. Including 400 Days. The Walking Dead Season 2. And last horror game on the PS3. The Walking Dead Survival Instinct. I know people, some people never even heard of this game. Don't even know about it. That's what it looks like. This was okay. That's what it looks like. Okay, now I'm ready to show off my PS4, uh, which is my biggest horror collection. Uh, horror games. Horror games out of all the consoles. The PS4 is the biggest. First game A Plague Tale, in a sense. At this time, man, I thought this game had the best graphics. Man, the game was amazing. An amazing game. I want Requiem so bad for PS5. Oh my god, I want that so bad. Alien Isolation. Nostromo Edition. 
This was an amazing game. Oh, it was so scary. I loved it. Dead Rising 4, Frank's Big Package. Dying Light. I do need Dying Light 2 for PS5. Hellblade Sin was Sacrifice. And this does come with the slow cover. I want Hellblade 2 so freaking bad. I don't have an Xbox Series X. Or as I don't have an Xbox. Oh, I want it so bad. Animal Show Warlords. You know, people are probably asking, is this a remaster? What is this? Here we go. Here we go. So you can see what this is. For people who are interested in buying this. The only Animusha I... Oh, I need two of them. I think there's one on Game Boy Advance and there's one on Xbox. And then I'll have all the Animushas. Resident Evil Origins Collection. We are about to be on Resident Evil games for a long time. Because it is, I have almost every single version of every single Resident Evil. Resident Evil 2. I love Resident Evil. If you could not tell. I have literally. I, I love Resident Evil so much. Resident Evil 2 Deluxe Edition. Resident Evil 3, I told you, we are going to be on Resident Evil for a while. Uh, I have a lot of Resident Evil games on PS4. Resident Evil Coronic X. This was a digital only. Yeah. Resident Evil 4 OG. The original RE4. The Resident Evil 4 remake. The Resident Evil 4 remake gold edition. This has separate ways. Show everyone what it has on it. So you can know what it has on it. Resident Evil 5. And this one is basically Resident Evil 5 Gold. It has both of the DLCs, costumes, mercenaries. Yeah. It, yeah. This is the ultimate edition of RE5. Same with RE6. And includes everything. Resident Evil 7. Or we yeah, get Biohazard. Resident Evil 7. Biohazard Deluxe Edition. And you're asking what comes with the uh, deluxe edition. Here you go. There you go. That's a deluxe edition. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard Gold Edition. And this is what all comes on the gold. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I am missing. I'm going to tell you which one I'm missing. To complete my Resident Evil collection with the PS4, I'm going to tell you which game I'm missing. Resident Evil Village. Resident Evil Village Deluxe Edition. You're asking what comes on the Deluxe Edition of Resident Evil Village. There you go. Samurai Edge Handgun. Mr. Everywhere uh, Weapon Charm. The Safe Room Music. Yeah, there you go. There's everything. Okay. Resident Evil Revelations. Resident Evil Revelations 2. And we are done with Resident Evil after this one. Umbrella Core. Okay, the Resident Evil I'm missing is Resident Evil Village Gold Edition. I need to get that, then I will have every single variant and version of Resident Evil on the PS4. I do not buy Collector's Edition because I have no space for those. God, I don't consider those separate games anyways. I don't consider that. Soma, this was... There you go. You see it. <laughs> it was a digital only game. The Dark Pictures Anthology. Man of Median. This was their first game they ever came out with. I love Dark Pictures. I love Dark Pictures. They're amazing games. Great graphics. Great stories. Little Hope. House of Ashes. The Evil Within. And that's what comes with it. I do have the slow cover, but it doesn't even move. It's a lenticular case, but it doesn't even do anything. The Evil Within 2. The Inpatient. The Order 1886. The Walking Dead Season 1 plus 400 days. The Walking Dead Season 2. The Walking Dead, A New Frontier. The Walking Dead, The Final Season. Until Dawn. And the last PS4 horror game, Visage. This was a digital only game as well. Okay, let's move on to PS5. 
I have a few PS5 horror games, not a whole lot, but a few. I have no idea how to say this word. No idea. I, oh my god. You know what? I'm not even going to say anything. You all laugh at me. I'm just going to show it and boom. You all can try to pronounce it any way you like. Okay? <laughs> the last Dark Pictures anthology game they just released, The Devil in Me. And last, no, sorry, I, I didn't see that one under their tormented souls. This was so fun, man. Oh, I love this game so much. The Quarry. This was an amazing, amazing, amazing game, man. Amazing. It's amazing. Done with the PS5 games. Now let's move on to the handheld Sony games. I only have two PSP games. Silent Hill Origins. For PSP. And then the third birthday. Okay, that's actually Parasite Eve 3. Alright, now PS Vita. Resident Evil Revelations 2. And the last horror game of the entire video. Last horror game, guys. 47 minutes. Silent Hill, The Book of Memories. This is a dungeon style type Silent Hill game, by the way. It's nothing like. The Silent Hills we grew up on playing. If you play them on PS1, PS2, you know, PS3, you know, the Silent Hills we played growing up. It's nothing like that. I didn't, I did not care for it. Alright guys, that was my horror video game. Here we all go right here. <laughs> Here they all go. There they all go. All my horror games. Um, wow. I do, I will be definitely buying a whole lot more. So, in another year, I will have a lot more Resident Evil games. A lot more. I'm going to start collecting on the PC. The Resident Evil games on the PC. Finish it. Just start on Xbox One. Um... I have two remaining on the 360. I'm trying to collect Resident Evil games. I'm going to do a Resident Evil video, a Street Fighter video, because I have a lot of Street Fighter games as well. I have a gigantic collection of Street Fighter. Tekken, I have a lot of Tekken games. I'm going to do a video on Tekken Mortal Kombat. I'm going to do a video on Mortal Kombat as well. Like I said, you all, I have a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff to share with you, all great viewers. I appreciate the subscribes, for, you know, 470 plus subscribers. There's a lot of people who enjoy watching my videos. That is, I mean, it's not a thousand, it's not 10,000, it's not <laughs> up there in the high thousand, like I wish it would be, but I'm grateful for what I have. Thank you all so much. Thank you. And I hope you and your families all have an amazing week. Collector 513 out.